Hey, Jordan, uh, what kind of things did you often work on during the bye week? Uh, a lot of things we worked on is uh, just starting fast. You know, we always started, felt like we started off slow, you know, just getting back to the rhythm, you know. That bye week really gave us a, a, a break to, like, to show what, what we can do and just going back through the, through the fundamentals again. And uh, just doing that, I think we're going we're gonna to come out and, and perform really well. And the Lobos have some great individual defensive players. Uh, their safety, Jared Reed, who plays the Wolf position. Seems like he's thriving under the 3-3-5 defense, a lot, a lot like how Aztec players have in the last decade. What do you see from him, and how do you guys have to kind of neutralize him oh, uh, yeah. on the field? Oh yeah, um, I know we've seen that. We've seen our that defense, you know, almost every day. Uh, <laughs> but um, just he's he's a good player, you know. He's, there's a lot of good players on the team too, you know. I've, I've played with against some of them that are on defense as well, so it's going to be really good and, and going to be a fun game. Yeah, I was gonna. I was, my follow up was going to be how is it how is it strange preparing to play a defense that you've seen on the practice field for so long. Uh, not too bad, you know. There's always competition in, in practice as well, too. So, uh, what I see it is, it's always going to be a game for me. Even though we're in practice, you know, you gotta, you always gotta strive for hard. I know a lot of guys on the team that think the same way, you know. So, so it's gonna, it's gonna be really good for us. Thanks, Jordan. Yes, sir. Thank you, Andre. We'll go to John. Jordan, is it extra special for you anytime you take on New Mexico, <laughs> being an Albuquerque native? Yeah, you know, especially with my parents and them too. They they love to come out and, and and support both teams. You know, my mom's from New Mexico, so she loves supporting me and the Lobos as well. So it's gonna be really fun. You know, I love playing against New Mexico teams. Uh, where did the New Mexico Bowl rank for you in terms of your career highlights? Getting a chance to do what you did back in that 2019 game. Uh, it felt good, especially doing that in front of my friends and family, especially my grandma. You know, it's, she's getting a little older now, so. She she got to see what I could do, and and I really made her proud. Um, you know, I asked Keyshawn about this. What what does it mean to you and your teammates to be ranked inside the top twenty five? You know, pretty good for right now. You know, it, it doesn't matter until the polls end or ends at the end of the year. So that's that's what really matters. You know, we're still gonna go out there, uh, play like it's like we're trying to get one and zero every week. So. We're practicing really hard, you know. Defense and offense always having competitions with each other, just just to improve each other. And then, what are the challenges of facing, you know, a Rocky Long or a Danny Gonzalez defense? <laughs> yeah, uh, Coach Gonzalez was my recruiter here, so it's it's gonna be really cool to see him. You know, Coach Long as well. He was he's a really cool guy. You know, it was love to see them and happy to see them after the game. All right, thanks. Thank you, John. Uh, we'll go to Steve. Thanks. Hey, Jordan. Steve Virgin here with the Albuquerque Journal. Uh, a lot of people remember you, remember you over here by your speed, for your speed <laughs> and your moves. I mean, are you a faster player now than, than you were in high school? Uh, yeah, a lot, I feel a lot stronger and faster than I was in high school. You know, I was only like a buck fifty, so <laughs> I've put a lot of weight on, a lot of muscles, so I feel a lot faster. <laughs> and, uh, any chance you've been recruited by the track team over there? Any thoughts of that? <laughs> At San Diego State? Uh -huh. No, they don't have a track team here, sadly. And I wish, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I wish they, <laughs> wish they had a track team here. <laughs> Otherwise, you would, huh? Yes, sir. Hey, uh, Coach Gonzalez made the comment that uh, you're the fastest player in the league, fastest athlete in the league. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I mean, that's, I'm honored by that, especially he's my recruiter. So it was I'm honored by that, especially what he said about me. That's good. Do you look at this as just another game, or is this um, is a little bit more hype for this one? Uh, it's just a game to go one and all. You know, we're taking every week by step by step. You know, this is conference, so we always got to. Everybody has to coordinate together and having a good having a good uh, mindset of going in there and being one and all is the best thing for us. And um, what's your mentality when you when you're a specialist for uh, special teams? Uh, just trying to make plays for my team, you know, just trying to turn the momentum around for, for all of us, for offense and defense, you know, just momentum always brings out the game, you know, it starts off with the linemen first, you know, I just try to try to bring up the momentum in the crowd and in, and in, the, um, in the team. Thanks, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you, Steve. We'll go to Kirk. Hey, Jordan, are you guys getting a sense that Greg Bell will be back this week or do you think it's going to be running back by committee again? 
Uh, he'll be back. You know, we're all gonna we're all healthy. We're all gonna be back. We're all ready to play, and we're just ready for this for this game. The uh, running game has been going so well. Do you, do you think the passing game will start getting going more now too, or how do you see that kind of rolling out? Uh, I you know we got two good quarterbacks. You know, whoever comes back to playing uh, this week is they're gonna do their job, and offense is gonna do our job. Uh, we're gonna come out with a with a big bang, and we're gonna we're gonna go out there and succeed. You guys play against that defense you're going to see this week at New Mexico, but San Diego State is a better defense. Do you think that makes you guys pretty well prepared for what you're going to see against New Mexico? Uh, no, we got a lot of uh, athletes on the team on defense, so they, they really prepared us for, for this week. You know, we've seen the offense or the defense uh, multiple times, especially with Coach Long. Um, I think we're going to be really prepared for this. Expect any new wrinkles from Coach Long? Uh, Coach Long, he's probably gonna bring out something different. You know, he's he's a he's a good man, so I know he's gonna he's gonna switch some things up for us. <laughs> hey, Keyshawn, Sean, uh, what what did the defense focus on during the bye week? Uh, man, just really getting better. I I think we have a a pretty good defense, but we're never satisfied with anything we do. We allowed every team we played to score, so there's always room for improvement. Our goal is to not allow anybody to score and. Every team has done that so far, so there's always room for improvement. You know what I'm saying? We just focused on um, their quarterback. They have a pretty good quarterback. He has the ability to extend plays. He has a good arm. He runs with really, really well. I don't know if he wants to run, but he does when he has to. And uh, we just focused on keeping him in the pocket, um, getting pressure to him, and just taking away that ability to allow him to extend plays. And, and and to add to that, they are they're using a backup quarterback Trey Hall in more skill position role, catching, carrying the ball. Given that, uh, how mindful do you have to be that potentially he could also get the ball and throw the ball downfield instead of carrying it? Is that something you guys got to watch out for? I mean, it's definitely something we have to be cognizant every time he's on the field. Um, from my personal experience watching film, I watched quite a bit of film already. It seems like every time he's on the field, he's touching the ball in some sort or another. So. When, when he's on the field, they want to get into the ball. Um, Got to be wary of trick plays, maybe reverse passes, just anything that can give us trouble and try to confuse us defensively is something that we have to be um, cognizant of. So. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thanks, Andre. We'll go to John. Hey, Keyshawn, I'm curious. Were, were you recruited to San Diego State by – was was Danny still there, or Danny had already left for Arizona State? But who recruited you? Was it Danny, or was it Rocky, or any of that combination? It was uh, Coach Gonzalez at first, and then I started to talk to Coach Long way later down the line. And what have those two meant for you in terms of your development? I mean, obviously you played for Rocky for a couple of years, but can you kind of speak to you know Rocky as a defensive coach and what you learned from him uh, during your time underneath him? Uh, as far as Coach Gonzalez, I didn't. Me and him have a close relationship, but he was by the time I got here, he already had left. But um, speaking of Coach Long, Coach Long is a great coach, and I'm sure anybody in this establishment will tell you that they have nothing but utmost respect for Coach Long. And he helped me develop as a player, as a young man, as far as getting better and being mentally, physically tough. Um, he's a great coach, like I said, but he's not coaching the Aztecs. He's coaching the Lobos. So <laughs> we'll see what happens Saturday. Uh, what does it mean to you and your teammates to be ranked inside the top 25? Uh, man, I think that means more to the fans than it does to us. It's, I mean, it's obviously a great accomplishment, great accolade to have, but what are we, four games in? It doesn't even mean anything if we don't win the conference, conference championship. We could win the next six games and lose the conference championship, and we're not going to talk about how we were ranked. So being ranked is cool, but we're not here to be ranked. We're here to win. All right, great. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you, John. We'll go to Steve. Thanks. Hey, Keyshawn. Do you have uh, some family and friends making the trip from Albuquerque to Carson? Yeah, I do. I have a lot of people coming, actually. That's great. What are your thoughts on uh, Coach Howes? He's on the staff at, uh, at, at UNM. What has he meant for you, to you? Uh, Coach House is one of the first guys who's helped me get recruited, obviously being my head coach in high school. So he's a great coach. He's a great dude. Me and him have a very good relationship. And um, I wish I could talk to him more, but he's on the other side. So <laughs> he's a good dude, but it'll be good to see him on Saturday. 
And also, Keyshawn, do you, do you sense, I mean, you guys are 4-0 and and ranked 25. I mean, do you, do you sense something special about this team, about this defense? Uh, definitely. Definitely. We, we Everybody feels it, I believe, but it's not something that's talked about, and we don't boast and brag about it. Um, 2019 it was the same situation. Top defense in the nation, and we – we came up short of our goal winning the conference championship and everybody here felt like we should have, but we just can't get too big of a head because that's, that's, uh, that's how you lead this disaster. So taking it one game at a time, one week at a time, we, nobody matters, but us, that's, that's one of our sayings around here. We try to focus on what we think about ourselves and we're very critical of everything we do. And like I said, we're allowed four teams to score points. So, it's not good enough to us. So we're just trying to improve every day. And one last thing, Keyshawn, just looking back on that recruiting process, um, what played the what played in the decision of you going to San Diego State? Did you just kind of want to get away from Albuquerque or how did that go down? Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, Steve. That's one of the hardest questions anybody's ever asked me. Uh, I definitely want to get, it out, get out of Albuquerque. I love Albuquerque. I'm sure Jordan would tell you that Albuquerque is home for us. And you know what I'm saying we love it, but – San Diego State wins, and at the time, the other schools that recruited me weren't doing as well as I would like them to, but not a, not to knock them. They're all great programs, but uh, San Diego, I don't know if you could beat that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Sean. Yes, thank you, Steve. Uh, we'll go back to Andre. One last question for me. Um, how are your conference like, challenges are presented now that you're playing in conference versus uh, out of conference. I'm sorry, can you repeat that one more time, please? Sure. Now that you're in conference play, what challenges does playing in conference present versus playing out of conference? Um, I think it's like every game is playing a rivalry game. You know what I'm saying? Any sports fan knows that you could be the best team in the nation, but if you go play a team that you play every year and then your rival, they're going to give you their toughest game. But um, that's that's just how conference is. Everybody's going to going to give you your best shot because every game matters and Anybody tells you otherwise is a liar. So we need every game to get to our goal, and that's to win the 22nd conference championship for our program. And um, they're going to be tough. They're going to be hard-fought games. They're going to be physical games, every one of them. So 